Now, for the past 12 months, BBC Radio Norfolk's been following the WI in Norfolk as they celebrate their 100th year. We were with them for the Centenary Salva in Boardswell at their Norfolk Day Garden Party, and we met some of the members from the county's different groups. One of the appeals for joining the WI is the company, and I've been to their Norfolk HQ at Lady Suffield House in Norwich to try my hand at a game of Mahjong. Well, I haven't played this since being a youngster. Oh, you and know, you know something about it. Well, it, yes. <laughs> I, I, I say that. Now, I remember that, because you've just put all of the uh, tiles in the middle, yeah. and that's called the twittering of the sparrows, when you um, yeah, shuffle them all around, because oh, yeah. it sounded like twittering of the sparrows. And then you've all built your walls, am I right? Yeah, yeah. 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 we have, yes. Yeah. This is a very ancient game. So, what made you decide to, that this was that this was something that you'd quite like to play? Well, in my case, my dad was seconded to the Royal Malayan Navy when I was six months old. So, we all went out to Singapore with mum and dad, and mum can always remember hearing them playing, particularly the clicking of the tiles. So, mum had bought a set back from Singapore. So, this set that we're actually playing with is over 60 years old without wishing to reveal my age um, and so we've played it a few times at home but not very much didn't really know how to play and then the WI did a beginner's day so I said come on let's go and we've been playing ever since and so enjoying it. Well this is where I get mine from because my mum was in British Forces Education Service stationed out in Singapore right. this, and this is, well. what, this, is, <laughs> this is what she heard and said this sounds quite good I'll bring it back and see what it's like. We, um, we, I started playing because my husband was in the oil industry in the Middle East in the 80s, and so there was a huge American presence uh, in uh, east of Saudi Arabia where we lived, and this was one of the things that they played. They had their own rules. These are slightly different. I think the rules are probably the same in terms of building the wall and so on, but um, they had different games that you played, so it was a, a slightly different game. Again, I came back to the UK, didn't play for years, and years and years until we had a beginner's day yeah. and there we are um now i'm trying to sort of recall vaguely what there are winds winds there are. and dragons there, there are dragons and then what else three suits what like card suits which are coins circles no circles characters bamboo. and bamboo mm -hmm. And it's really, uh, to my mind, when people ask me what it's like, it's like playing rummy because you're making uh -huh. sets and runs. Mm. But there are other special hands that you can make. But it, it, effectively, it's just playing rummy with tiles mm. rather than cards. Uh, good fun to play? Yes, yes. I was car a more card player and I just came to the you know, to WI to see what it was all about. Uh, so do you, do you, you come very much as a beginner on this? I did, yes. Mm. How would you rate yourself now? <laughs> <laughs> well, average, I suppose. Yeah, I think. I yeah. mean, we're all. I think we're all pretty much of a part, part aren't we? Yeah. Righty ho. So, first thing you do is throw the dice. The, the dice. Nine. nine. And so you got nine. Three. nine. And then you. So you. Well, hold on. So how many? Have you counted across? You've nine. done. Nine. Yeah. Nine across. Yeah. Okay. So you work out which wall. So it's one, two, oh. three, four. Oh. Yes. Five, six, seven, seven eight, 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 nine. Nine. And then you count in from eight, the eight, closed eight, eight, end. Eight, East is in control of the game. Oh my goodness. Yes. Right. So I threw I'm, the dice, you I'm see. I'm already careful board, already. Yeah. Right. And it's usually easier if one or two people do this because otherwise there's hands flying in and out. Um, now, are you supposed to see each other's tiles or not? No. no. Right. No, I've got one. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Hold on. Oh, I see. So, well, so, 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 so you're you putting, can't, you can't really so you're putting all, the, all the same characters together. together. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm with you. And then there's okay. a, what's called a traditional mahjong hand, which is three pungs, of, which are three of a kind. Do you know, as soon as you said the word pung, I thought, yes, I, I recall that yeah. from, from, from playing before. So three well, pungs. You can do three pungs and a chow, and a chow is a set. And if you're doing the traditional mahjong hand, you have to have all the same suit, so all circles or all characters or all bamboo, and you can use the winds and dragons to make <coughs> pungs.
I love the fact that you've all got instruction booklets <laughs> and, and various different bits of paper to work this all out. Yeah. But it, but but overall fun to play. Oh yes. Yeah. Right. Um, so okay. mahjong is what you say at the end when you've yeah. got everything you want. Yeah. So what have you got then? I've got here a crazy child, which is four mixed chows. So I've got a one bamboo, a two character, and a three circle, and then five bamboo, six character, seven circle, four character, five circle, six bamboo seven circle eight character nine bamboo and a mixed pair so yep. i've got a pair of ones in, t in two different suits that oh, is incre it, it's that an incredibly quick get the pace wise i mean in terms of i'm thinking of being a bear of very little brain is trying to sort of get all that in in my head it must get your synapses working or whatever is supposed <laughs> to be happening. So. When I first came back to Mahjong after 30 years or so, I didn't win a game for months. Mm. I just played Mahjong, the ordinary Mahjong hand, and I just sat and learnt, relearnt everything that I needed to. But I, I didn't care that I didn't win. I just needed to get it. And now, suddenly it clicked. Mahjong. Oh, that's interesting. So yes, yeah, so, yeah, so Mahj Mahjong could help fight depression, but I guess against <laughs> anybody, older, really. But, yeah, we're older, but, we but are it's all there. Yeah. <laughs> I want to ask you all, whilst you're turning over the, 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 the tiles, and, and just really thinking about it, because you, you've been celebrating all this year in our county, and we've, and we've heard so much about the work of, of the WI <laughs> on BBC Radio Norfolk, and we've covered loads of different events. But I want to know from, from you, just sitting around this table, what does it mean for you to be part of this? What does it mean to be part of the, this institution? <laughs> <laughs> well, I belong to five different WIs. It's companionship. And uh, I was craft mad, so I've always done craft with the WI. Um, for me, I joined because Mum was a member. And, yeah, it's companionship. It's going to hear talks of things that you perhaps wouldn't go to otherwise. Um, and, yeah, getting together for crafting and things. And I think... I think the WI is quite a strong force nationally yeah. and it's good to be part of that um, and, you know, perhaps changing in some cases the direction of Britain, um, but yeah. certainly trying, you know, trying to improve people's lives so they're better with some of the things that we do. What does it give for you? I joined when I retired because I wanted to meet new people and I like the lectures that we have and... I like coming to the craft days. I've been to Denman lots of times. That's the WI College. And you can do lots of different things there, cookery, crafts. Mm -hmm. I've been on a walking holiday with them, and it's lovely. Really enjoy it. <laughs> I joined when I moved back into my village after living abroad for a few years and uh, it is definitely a way to get to know people, it's the companionship of local people um, and the craft activities that we do, um, all of that is very important. We do have um, a local ladies group in our village but it hasn't got the national ties that this has and I think that that's what makes the difference with the WI, the fact that you're part of a national group and that you can make a difference. If you feel strongly about something you can make a difference or we can all make a difference really and when I first discovered uh, the WI, uh, Denman was an absolute revelation to me. I went so many times, I loved everything that I did. Uh, one course I particularly remember was uh, feel, looking good and feeling great where you were all supposed to, at the end of it, she gave you a sort of assessment you were supposed to stand naked in the <laughs> <laughs> I chickened out I wore, a, I wore a, a leotard but that was that's memorable and another memorable one was doing a wine tasting course and I took my husband to that one and uh, we had a wonderful time even up to the very last day when he couldn't drink and I could it was <laughs> brilliant <laughs> We had such fun, and thank you so much to all the ladies at the WY for welcoming me along to Mahjong. We had a smashing time together, all happy for them to continue their celebrations.